Hello, friends, and welcome to the Cinemondo podcast with Kathy, Mark, and Burke. Reacting. Ooh, said... to... <laughs> Ooh, that's a very FM radio. I like anyway. it. <laughs> smooth, smooth jazz. Ping! <laughs> In case you're wondering, it's a trailer reaction. Yes, it is. We do a lot of these, but I love, I just love doing them. And Kathy and Burke. <laughs> Burke's doing magic Whoa. on the side. Look at Harry Houdini. What? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> it's there. Oh, How does God. he do it? Unbelievable. Uh, but, so we did a, a review of part one a few weeks ago. I did it with Burke. And now we have all three of us. And I wanted to make sure we all did it because this looks like a really kick-ass movie. And Scorsese loves it. And What's it, it called? Is, it's it's Gangs, Gangs of Wasikor. And it's, a, you know, this is part two. You guys did the part one. It yeah. was, you know, it's, it's a long film. The whole film was over five hours long. So they, they cut it in half. Yeah. Kind of a Kill and, Bill uh, situation. Yes. Right. And uh, the Hindi language film from 2012, directed and written by Anurag Kashyap. And it was so well received. It's kind of a classic of uh, Indian cinema that ah. Martin Scors Scorsese loved it and actually wrote the director and, you know, praised him for his work. So obviously Amazing. when it gets Scorsese seal of approval and it's kind of a gangster film, then, you know, you're, you're talking about something special. So I've waited. I have not seen it at all. And mm -hmm. I, I wanted to do this trailer action before I actually went back and watched the full film something yeah. special to us western people you know i think yeah. it's not i mean the indian indian films stand on their own they don't need mm -hmm. approval from you know martin no, scorsese but no, but true. for us i mean we you know huge martin scorsese fans mm -hmm. um when when he likes it it's like oh okay i'm going to pay attention to this a little bit more than i might to something else i would dare so. say he's one of the greatest directors yeah, in the world. Yes, yeah. of the and world of all time. And, you know, when he says he likes something, you kind of go, hmm? Yeah. And he's a film historian. I mean, he loves all the films mm -hmm. going back, you know, films from all over the world going back. So yeah. he just knows his stuff. So when he yeah. gives a seal of approval, it's something you sort of perk your ears up and yeah. go, okay. We love wow. him so, so much. Um, and this one stars uh, We that should great get him actor. on the podcast. Yeah, let's call him up. Yeah, Thanks. call get, get on that. Burke had lunch with him the other day to talk to him about it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, are we ready? Are we ready? So the, are I'm excited. The film, star, the film stars Nawazuddin Siddiqui, uh, Manaj, Manaj Bajpayee, who are both really good actors. We've mm -hmm. seen them in other films, and so okay, cool. um, so we're excited to see it. So let's do the slate and let's check it out. The trailer it. for Gangs of Wasipur Part Two. Here we go. Ready? Ready. Sound speed. Action. <laughs> Rangila? Hmm, dekhi. Karan Arjun? Hmm. Chalna. Hmm. Karan Arjun dekh ke aate hain. <laughs> Saruk Salman dono hain. Haath pakdoge to? Maa ka sang nahi pakdoge. Haan, godi mein popcorn girega. To dhoondoge nahi andhi jane? Maa ka sang nahi dhoondoge. Satke bethoge? Maa ka sang nahi satke. To apna amma ka saath hi jau na. Hamara kya jaroor hai? Kirin ji. Great logo. Yeah. I want that on a t-shirt. <laughs> Filing mm -hmm. a so good. Yes. Part oh. one. Cool. Quick recap. Right. God, he looks cool now. Papa, Dada, ka, sab ka badla le gara tera achar. Sab. Hamla naam par pindi gule le. Faisal Khan humne bade bade diye. Bade bade sab. I <laughs> 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 <laughs>
So nice. yeah, this looks this looks like the real deal here. Yeah, that gritty. Um, so and it's, good. It's interesting because not knowing the first part, knowing the storyline, all I see is just a lot of characters, kind of an epic story yeah. with a lot of different characters, and so obviously it looks very complex. Yeah. Uh, you know, so it looks compelling, and also I love sort of yeah. like the street vibe of it. it, it yeah, right. It doesn't have that slow up. motion glamour action. It has this down and dirty kind of Scorsese style. We're just gonna call it out gritty, down to earth, super violent, but in a very small, realistic way. Yeah. Like when you're shooting somebody, it's not this big. What? Or like, yeah, shooting people out. behind you and to yeah. the, you know, it, the guy's gun jams. You know, and it's like that. there's things in it that just seemed real to me, and the and the yeah. guy. You know our 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 primary, evidently primary protagonist in this yes. is cool looking, but he is not overly cool looking. He is not right. overly styled. He looks like no. a real guy yes. who would really be doing this stuff. It looks, looks like he styled himself up, but it wasn't. It's not too glamorous. Right. He looks like a regular yeah. a regular gangster. You know, <laughs> like real, real, real world gangster. gangster. And that Even Raj if- Kumar Rao. Um, yeah. he was in street. He showed yeah. up with a lot of stuff. I love him because he, he, he's such a, uh, cute looking, unassuming guy, but it looks yeah. like in this, like he's using that as part of his weapon. Like, I don't know exactly. I'm waiting to watch the film. I wanted to see you to react to both these trailers, but he brings that sort of friendliness that you instantly like him to a yeah. role. So I, I think he looked really good in this. Well, the main guy now was Zudin Stiki. You know, mm-hmm. I think of him from the lunchbox he played the yes. unique sort of trainee you see him so yeah badass. He looks like hey, completely hey. different <laughs> so like different. you said is that him you know that that's the most yeah. of, him, uh, of a good actor yeah you know he is an actor so, for sure actor. yeah he can p- portray different types and that's so important yeah and it's like the um the story of this i don't really understand much from the from the trailer but um i think i'm gonna watch this it's one, definitely you know, I, one and two I'm definitely watching this i think it's basically crime families are at war yeah so there's three i think three crime families from what i remember um and they're all at war but it looks like you know they're scrabbling for their little bit of you know turf and they keep it really realistic and i mean there's going to be lots and lots of exaggerated violence of course but again i love the sort of rural feeling of it like it's a small town it's not the super glittery city or anything it's like very very realistic and down to earth looking, which is but the exaggerated drama. violence thing. I don't. Yeah. I, I was thinking it's it does to me. It doesn't appear to be exaggerated violence. It appears to be like the dirty kind of ugly violence that you know yeah. that really. Yes. Well, it's realistic. Like when people are sitting around and they come in and they kill, you know, yeah. they assassinate these people, execute them, and you know, that stuff yeah. is is horrible. And it's like when you depict it in a in a film like this, and you show it for how ugly it really is, and how like yeah. just shocking it is yeah. as opposed to some other action films where you don't even care you're seeing 30 guys getting killed but it's done in yeah. such a choreographed well, the chore- over the top way yeah. and it's like right. psh, psh, right. psh, psh, yeah it's that's like, exactly eh. what this is mm-hmm. and you know this actually got yeah. an adults only uh rating from the indian board yeah and right it, it, because it's because the violence is so realistic yeah, yeah. there's also it's se- a lot of sexual stuff and a vulgar the, lang- the language is way over the top mm-hmm. so it's yeah. like it's an atypical indian film in that sense that was actually right. very popular one of our commenters and i'm I, I would love to just do this as a post on Instagram, except it's so profane. Posted like, to enjoy this film, you need to know the slang profanity. And they listed out how the profanity is different from here, like the different verbiage they were using. It's hilarious. So whoever posted wow. that, thank you. It was great. So go oh, in, check read in the, in the other. It, that's in the comments for the, the um, first review of the first yeah. one. Part one. Okay. And also, I guess this is about the coal mafia. And oh, so okay, there's a lot yeah. of politics. Coal mafia of Donba. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and so that that'll be you know the underlying power struggles of you know the coal mafia, the politicians, you know the the law enforcement, you know it's all that. Everybody's corrupt, right? <laughs> but yes. it's a, it it looks fantastic. I definitely it, it looks watch great. It. it was it was a financial bomb at the theaters uh, because some I of the great ones the, always are, right? Yeah, yeah. But it's considered a modern classic, and um, 
So that's kind of interesting. It's like yeah. you know, 10 years later, you know, we're, we're still talking about this film where people are saying, review yeah. this movie. It's, it's, yeah. it's held people up. People love it. You know, so. And I've never seen it. I really want to see yeah. it. So. I really yeah. want to see it. And, yeah. you know, so sorry it took us so long to get to part two, but, you know, there's a lot going on with KGF and RRR and Beast and like, there's a lot of shit, but we got yeah, so it. We like I'm to, excited. We want we'll to do a review. Of, we want to backfill some of the classics. We'll, we'll get yeah. to them slowly, but surely. Then we have to mm -hmm. sit down and watch a five hour movie. That just takes time. You know? <laughs> it takes Let's time. Face it. <laughs> and we all have to do it at different times. So, you know, we're waiting right. on each other, but now, right. you know, we can get to it. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, we all, we all live in different houses. We don't live in the same house, like the monkeys or the Beatles. We're <laughs> sort of like, uh, have our own lives, you know? Yeah, so don't so. give away our secrets. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's magic. Uh, Gangs it's of Wasi Port 2. Gangs of Wasi Port 2. It looks amazing. I think We're this looks like a must see. We'll probably do a full length review for I our podcast because we'd like to do good cult films for that. I think so we'll yeah. watch this one and actually yeah. talk about it once we finish it. It looks pretty violent. And, it looks amazing. Uh, pretty wild and it's yeah. got that vibe to it that i really like when a film looks where you feel like you're watching something that really happens it's almost a documentary yes. style yes. where you you know the camera just happened to be there when this yeah. horrible thing happened you know right and when i get that feeling from a movie um that's when a when a movie when a story really reaches out and grabs you because i work in films and television so to me a lot of times when i'm watching things i'm I'm thinking, oh, how did they do that? You know, where mm -hmm. is the crew? Yeah. How did they shoot it? They use a lens like this, and this is a special effect, and this is a stunt, and all. You know, I'm I'm analyzing it. Yeah. But if I watch a movie where it takes me out of that, and I feel like I'm watching something that's really happening, that to me is impressive. And I have a feeling this might be one of those movies yeah. where it's so realistically filmed, and so um, you know, documentary style filmed that I might um, I might get that feeling of yeah. losing losing my attachment to the right. production of a, of a film and getting caught up in the story it. getting caught up in the story in yeah. exactly definitely and um you know the artistry of the trailer too just to call out to the people who cut this trailer i love the idea first of all i love the black and forth back and forth with the black and white yeah um and the great type design and that music and a lot of the cuts were on the beat of the music which was, was really, really fun and also a little bit of art. yeah we'll have to put a flash warning on this one yeah, yeah. Um, but i love yeah. how they condensed part one into this super fast like slideshow at the very beginning just this this big long section of just shot after shot after shot i thought that yeah. was very very well done um yeah. So there's no way you're going to know what the first part movie was like by watching that. But I love the idea of this condensed, you know, little section of time there in front of that trailer. So really yeah. well done trailer. Yeah. Yeah. Can't I'm actually looking forward it. to seeing this. Me yeah. too. Thanks for the, thanks for the recommendations yeah. on that. Thanks and, for nagging uh, us. <laughs> yes. And don't forget. I'll nag you if you're out there, if you haven't subscribed, <laughs> please subscribe to our YouTube yeah. channel uh, and comment and like for any of our, you know, videos. And also <laughs> we have a podcast that's gone back four years. We have many podcasts. Tons. If you're looking for more movies, that you give it a listen. In your streaming services and listen to yeah. any of our stuff. Lots of things out there. So we appreciate <laughs> the views, likes, listens comments subscriptions okay yes. see you guys next time Bye. thanks everyone take care everyone bye